right, Charlie King here with you for uh, AntiMethodGolf.com, and we've got our next, and the winner is, and it's Brendan Todd. I, I see a trend this year. The uh, University of Georgia Bulldogs are turning out great PGA Tour players. Uh, the stat I saw was that he is the fifth Georgia alum to win this year. So um, we'll take a look. Had a couple of things about Brendan. Um, you know, he sets up. We look over here on the right. He sets up great. We got a neutral grip, good ball position. You know what you would expect from a tour player. And then as he takes the club back, he's steady. We see the upper body drop a little bit, which we do see that in good players. It's kind of a dynamic. Uh, it's just part of the flexibility of the player, but we see, as I've pointed out over and over, you know, the thing that great players have in common is that they're wide. Uh, they turn, uh, against the resistance of the right leg. So it's not all over the place. The wrist hinge in this case happens what I would consider the new normal kind of 90 degrees by the time your arms at nine o'clock and, um, he gets to the top. And he's turned, he's centered, he's wide, he's got wrist hinge, you know. Um, so all, all the things that we're looking for and, uh, and pretty standard, you know. So uh, not, not a lot different about Brendan's swing, just a good swing. And then as he comes down, the wrist hinge actually increases a little bit. Once again, you see from where he started, his head is lower than where he started. Uh, we see that in a lot of good players. So you see the angle, uh, take note of that. Uh, we, we are storing up energy. We're retaining energy. We're not anxious to use it too soon. The handle keeps moving. So you see the thing we see over and over and over, the handle gets to the left thigh. You know, the handle gets to the left thigh. The left wrist is flat or arched. The right wrist is bent back. And then when contact's made, the shaft's leaning forward and the ball is hit down because of the forward shaft lean, but then it starts hitting up. So we call that hitting down while arcing up. You see how straight that left leg is. He's hitting against the firmness. I call that the field goal kicker left leg and the arms. Again, a lot of people call that extension, which it is, but the overall thing I always want you to see is how the club goes from hinge to rehinge. It's more circular than it is ever thinking about it going down the line, which I hear people say a lot. And then let's look at him from down the target line. So the club head is a little outside his hands, uh, which is which is common. I mean, that's we, we see a little bit of both, probably see that a little bit more, certainly more the common idea. His arms pretty much across his shoulders, which is what I would consider nowadays neutral. Um, it's a little on the, you know, a little bit on the flat side by old standards, but, uh, good as he starts down, you know, it's interesting to me that club gets just a little bit laid off as he starts down, but, uh, you see all the angles in his spine again, head centered. And then as he comes down, the club gets to that bottom orange line, traces it down to the ball, which we see over and over and over. And then as he hits the ball, again, we see that straight leg. We see everything nice and still. Um, we see a piece of his left arm, right arm under the left. Then there's a sense of release. You kind of see, in this case, that right arm cross over a little bit. And that's just, to me, that's part of completing the circle and you see that club comes up within our cone of acceptability. So there's that tilted over circle idea that's called swing plane and to his complete finish. So Brendan Todd has um, uh, a lot of really solid features in his swing. A lot of things that, uh, that we are seeing, um, you know, great swing. So how does he end up winning? Uh, because of a few great shots, because of the mental side and uh, doing his thing. So keep up the great work. Stay involved with AntiMethodGolf.com. See you next time.